the rules were not made clearly to me. Maybe it's because uh, I don't want to learn Spanish, and I think uh, the Mexican people need to get jobs in America as much as possible. Uh, I'm not like Donald Trump. I think the Mexicans are very hard workers. That's why I hired a translator. No disrespect, but I don't think you really care what I have to say because I'm American or Canadian. But if some Mexican guy wants to translate for me, you guys listen very well. I talk about respect. No one tells me in a cage match there's no three count. So what the hell's the difference if there's no three count? Then foul. It's the same. There's no rules in Mexico. I call myself the devil of professional wrestling. The devil's the referee in the back while the guys are doing stuff and hiding under their masks like cowards. I have the same face on the street as I do in the ring. I have a shitty match. The people on the street see me. They laugh at me. The Mexican people, they don't have to worry. They hide under their mask, go on the street, and act like they're somebody who doesn't want to be the same guy in the ring as on the street. To me, it's a, it's a big joke. The, the nostalgia, the mystique of the mask. It's an excuse to have a bad match for five years. I have two bad matches in a row. The Mexican people will never see me again. The promoter's not going to buy the airplane ticket. He's not going to pay for my ropa. He's not going to bring me down here. Unless I can deliver a match, the people in Mexico understand. It's 10 years, 15 years, 20 years of practice to come down here. One day's notice, get in a ring against a guy I haven't wrestled in nine years. The week before, against Scorpio, I'd never worked him before. I watched this guy tonight with another guy from Mexico. Beautiful match. But don't tell me they haven't worked together. They don't watch each other all the time. They study each other. I have no chance to have a great match. It has to be a miracle. Every time I get in the ring, the, the, the odds are against me. The, the, sta the cards are stacked for me to fail. And again, I come out with my hand raised as I guarantee victory tonight. You'll start to understand in Mexico. Take my word. I don't lie. The truth is, there's no rules. I'll do whatever it takes to win. Doesn't matter. As long as I have my hand raised and you guys give me the masks or the match to take their masks, then we'll see what I'm here to do. God bless you. And I respect you guys for staying after the show to hear what I have to say. Maybe you guys are starting to understand. It's hard work, blood, sweat, and tears, and big balls to come to Mexico and make you guys understand the angel of death is real. The devil is alive, and he's here to take your soul. God bless you, Mexico. Hide under your masks all you want. I see you in the street. I'll see you in heaven. And I'll see you here in Mexico in hell. And another victory. What happened with your opponents? They are of your level? They're my level? Of course, great luchadors. But I have God and the devil on my side. They only have God. You have to have the balance to understand how the world works. If you're too good, and if you're too bad, they shoot you in the head or put you in jail. You have to find a way to stay in the middle. That way I could catch all the Mexicans when they're sleeping. I take your women, I take your children, and soon I'll have a Mexican baby with a beautiful Mexican girl here. You guys give me my FM2 so I could buy a house here in Mexico.